Greetings from Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. My name is Ryan. I have Bree and Micah with me. The girls are at home. We're gonna go inside and check out Puckett's. It's January. He's wearing shorts and a t-shirt. <laughs> but we're gonna go inside real quick so we're not gonna make this long and show you what Puckett's restaurant in Pigeon Forge is like, what's on their menu, to help you decide if this is a restaurant you wanna come to next time you're here in the Great Smoky Mountains. Without further ado, let the adventure begin! adventure begins driving into Pigeon Forge here. It is January 25th. Just give you a look and feel at the crowd levels here on the road as we pass the Pigeon Forge Welcome Center. As nice well. and light traffic today. Yeah. Passing by Wonderworks on the right, coming up to Hatfield and McCoy dinner feud and just beyond that the Titanic Museum and across the street we have beyond the lens we're moving right through Pigeon Forge the crowds not too bad here towards the end of January so I have never been to Puckett's I'm excited to come over here to this restaurant coming up on the right right by the Christmas store how many days till Christmas doesn't say <laughs> oh, so, after Christmas sale, up to 70% off. Maybe we should go in there after dinner. So right here is Puckett's Restaurant. We're going to go inside and see what they have on the menu. So we're right next to the incredible Christmas place across the street from the inn, where you can celebrate Christmas 365 days a year, right across from Magic Quest. And we have arrived to Puckett's. So we're actually here in January. It's kind of a slower season. They're actually in the process of transitioning from hard copy menus to moving up to digital menus. But let me walk over and show you the menus. So for starters, they have some pinto cheese bites, fried pickles, a chicken tender platter, cherry smoked wings, Bubba's bones, fried green beans, smoked sausage and cheese, and Puckett's nachos. They also have some salads with a number of house-made dressings, an entree salad, a country cob, a strawberry spinach, and a barbecue taco salad. And they have some Tennessee favorites. All favorites come with two sides and a signature Cajun corn cake. It says Puckett's voted one of the 10 best barbecue restaurants in the U.S. by Travel Awaits. You can get either a southern fried chicken or fried catfish, chicken fried chicken, a whiskey platter, Puckett's barbecue platter, smoked meatloaf, baby back ribs, the whole farm or a veggie plate for $9.79. They have a Puckett's Piggy Mac. It's our most popular dish, it says, for $15.29. You get some pulled pork and an iron skillet topped with white cheddar, mac and cheese, and biscuit crumbs. Here's a look at their sides, ranging from $3.29 to $5 and 29 cents. They also have some burgers and sandwiches, a classic cheeseburger, fried chicken club, mojo burger, Puckett's barbecue, Music City hot chicken, chicken sandwich, smoked bologna, Puckett's barbecue sliders, Nashville cheesesteak, and a catfish po' boy, and a fresh BLT. Hannah's not here, but she would probably love one of those BLTs. On their kids menu, they have chicken tenders and fries, burger and fries, mac and cheese and sweet potato fries, grilled cheese and fries, kids three veggie plate, and a PB&J with fresh 
fruit. They also have some homemade desserts. They have a cobbler of the day, which today's is strawberry. They have a cinnamon roll bread pudding. That sounds good. And a deep fried brownie sundae banana pudding and a bowl of ice cream and a number of Coke products and beverages. Here's the pricing. They do have some beer and wine available at the bar. So Brie is placing our order and once you place the order, you can come sit at one of the tables and they'll bring you your food. I did want to show you this extra room that they'll open up as there are more people here. Just kind of give you a feel for the restaurant and some of the decor. As it says here, pig out. I think we're gonna try some barbecue sliders. On this side, they do have some bottled beverages. And on this side, they have some other drinks that you can just walk up and fill your cup. And Micah just said, is that Dolly? I think that's a Dolly painting on uh, an old slab of wood. Somebody's pretty talented to Put that together. Do you know what these things are right here on the wall? What do you think they are? Cleaning stuff. Cleaning stuff? What do you think that these things used to clean? Clothing. Clothing, you're right. You have it so good. Back in the day, Micah, get the clothes and go uh, out back and wash all the family's clothes. I love this fireplace here looking out on the main parkway of Pigeon Forge. And if the family was all here, this would be a great place to sit on this front window here, this little bench wrap around and look out at the Christmas lights at the inn and do some people watching here. It's really a nice little relaxing restaurant. I also wanted to show you this back area. As the sign says, it's closed for Private events is what they would use this. So if you came here to Pigeon Forge or Gatlinburg and had a large group, looks like a pretty big area. They could accommodate a lot of people back here in this area. So they do have a little bar area up here. If you wanna watch a game, get an adult beverage. And we have our number here. They're gonna bring out our food and we'll show you what we order. I just thought I'd show you too, they have a spicy barbecue sauce. It says Texas style with a kick. And they have their Puckett's original barbecue sauce. It's a Memphis style sweet. No heat, I think Micah's gonna like this one. We'll try this out. And they do have their own pepper sauce, a spicy kick for all your recipes. They will have live music here. No one's playing at the moment, but I thought I would show you there are a number of cocktails, wines, drafts, bottles and cans, some different whiskey, bourbon, scotch, or you could get a whiskey flight of either Tennessee whiskey or Old Smoky. That's something you want to do while you either listen to some live music or watch a sports game. Looks like I also see some moonshine shots as they have the bar of many colors. Sounds like it's inspired by Miss Dolly Parton. I also want to show you they have a number of Dolly Parton records here at the bar. All right, are you hungry? Yeah. All right, let's take a moment to pray and thank God. We ask all this in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Here's a look at the whiskey chicken platter. Brie got some mac and cheese and green beans as sides. Also came with that signature corn cake. It kind of looked like a little pancake to us. So we started to dig in and try out the mac and cheese and some of the sides. And here's a look at the barbecue sliders that Micah requested some french fries with. So as we've tried everything out, let's see what Brie thinks of the chicken. Chicken is a little bland. Yeah. I think it needs some more barbecue sauce. But it's still much better. Better with the sauce? Yes, much better. We gotta try the pancake. Oh. <laughs> no, it's good. It's like a sweet, Corn bready, a little bit of pepper, cornbread pancake. <laughs> <laughs>
I got a, uh, a half rack of ribs because I have to try out the ribs, especially since it's half off right now. So I got a half for half off. So we didn't order their signature piggy mac, which would basically be this mac and cheese, but with some pulled pork on it. But we did get another side of this mac and cheese that everybody really enjoys. So I'm excited to give these ribs a try. Here's another look at the ribs. I had the same thought Bree just had. She said, it looks really dry on the outside, but the inside is nice and moist. And she just said, I think I should have ordered the ribs. <laughs> so Bree just said, this is the perfect meal here. She really likes the coleslaw loves the mac and cheese and is really enjoying these ribs. They do have a number of rubs that you can pick up here as well as the barbecue sauces. Well, that wraps up our look at Puckett's restaurant in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Bree, would you come back? Yes, I would especially for that mac and cheese. You can always place an order and just come and pick it up or come in and sit down as we did and a really nice relaxing atmosphere right by the Christmas store. If it was Christmas time, we could just walk over from here and check out some lights and decorations. But let us know in the comments, have you ever been here? What would you rate it, zero to 10? Let us know in the comments, what's your favorite thing on the menu here? If you've enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button and make sure you're subscribed as we will be covering more places to eat and things to do here in the Great Smoky Mountains and beyond. Thanks so much for watching. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.